working behind in counts the whole time. It's hard to get back into counts when you're working behind. It's, you know, they're good fastball hitters, so you work behind and getting bad counts, and they're sitting dead red and hitting fastballs. It's, you know, what are you gonna do? Getting close to 40, and I think it was the 40th pitch. But even those last few, as you're getting to Robertson, you know, how were you feeling? And obviously, you didn't feel good behind him. I mean, felt all right. Didn't feel any different than the 10th pitch or the 20th pitch. Just obviously, I'm sure there's some effects that I'm not feeling, but that's not an excuse. It's my fault. I had plenty of chances to put him away and didn't. Any lingering thing from that stomach thing that caused you to come no. home on the first day? No. Um, even the, the double play, or, or when they kind of check to see the ground ball, give you a few extra seconds to kind of kind of regroup and, and such. Uh, then obviously the, the, the walk there, yeah, those moments as you couldn't, you know, close that out, and take us through how you were feeling. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, Malik's put together a hell of an at bat. I mean, I threw a lot of quality pitches in that. He kept fouling them off, fouling them off, and I mean, I still ended up getting the ground out. But I mean, he's a hard guy to turn two on. Even if he hits it right at the guy, so Starlin tried to make a great play, and I don't, I don't know what happened with the the review and all that stuff. But I mean, it was a nice breather, but obviously didn't turn out the way I wanted it to.